Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to design a hub network to implement logical AND function with the help of hub rule. The training data for the AND function looks something like this. In this case, uh, x1 and x2 are the two inputs. B is the bias and then Y is the target here. Now, uh, x1 can take two possibilities. Uh, the first one is 1 and the second one is uh, minus 1. Similarly, x2 can take uh, plus 1 or minus 1. The target is uh, high whenever both the inputs are high. Otherwise, the target is uh, low or you can say that the minus 1 in this case. And the bias is set to 1 in all the cases over here. Now, given this particular training data, we need to use the HEB rule and then we need to find the HEB network for this particular logical AND function here. Now, uh, what we do is uh, we will initialize the weight uh, as well as the bias to 0 initially. That is uh, W1 is equal to W2 is equal to B is equal to 0. So, everything is set to 0 initially. Now, we will try to take one example at a time and then we go on modifying this particular weights as well as the bias over here. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to modify these particular weights as well as the bias. To modify the weight and the bias, the HEB rule looks uh, something like this. W i nu that is the new weight is always equal to old weight that is W i old plus delta W i. In this case, uh, delta W i is the change of weight, W i old is the old weight. If you solve this particular equation, you will get the new weight here. We know the old weight, but we don't know how to calculate or what is the value of uh, delta W i. So, first we need to find out what is the delta W i. Delta W i is equal to x i into y. x i is the input and y is the target in this case or the associated target in this case. So, we need to calculate uh, delta W 1, delta W 2 as well as delta B here. So, delta W 1 is equal to x 1 into y. What is x1? x1 is 1, y is equal to 1 here. So, you get, you get uh, the value 1 here. Uh, delta w2 is equal to x2, y. What is x2? x2 is 1, y is again 1 here, 1 into 1 is equal to 1 here. Delta b is always equal to target, that is uh, the associated target you can say. In this case, it is equal to 1. So, delta w1 is 1, delta w2 is 1, delta b is also 1 in this case. Now, once you know this particular change of weights, we can calculate the new weight something like this. The new weight or uh, W1 new is equal to W1 old. We know that particular value already that is uh, 0. Delta W1, delta W1 is 1. So, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 here. Similarly, W2 new is equal to W2 old. W2 old is again 0. Delta W2 is equal to 1. So, I will get 1 here. Del uh, B new is equal to B old, B old is again 0 plus uh, delta B is equal to 1. If I add these two things, I will get 1 here. So, then modified weights are 1, 1, 1 in this case. Now, what we need to do is we need to take the second example that is 1 minus 1 and its associated target is a minus 1 over here. So, that is what I have written in this case. So, considering these, uh, this uh, input, we need to modify the weights again with the help of uh, HEB rule over here. Now, uh, we need to calculate the delta W1, delta W2, delta B again. Delta W1 is equal to X1, Y. So, in this case, X1 is 1, Y is equal to minus 1. So, it will become minus 1 here. Delta W2 is equal to X2, Y. X2 is minus 1, Y is minus 1, minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 over here. Delta B is equal to Y, Y is equal to minus 1. So, it will become minus 1 over here. So, we have calculated the change of weights here. Now, we need to calculate the new weights that is uh, w1 new is equal to w1 old the previous uh, case we have calculated w1 old as 1 so i have written it here w1 uh, delta w1 we have calculated here that is minus 1 i have written it here so i will get 0 in this case now uh, w2 new is equal to w2 old again we have calculated this in the previous slide that is 1 delta w2 that is equal to 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 here now, coming back to the B new, B new is equal to B old plus delta B. Delta B we have already calculated that is minus 1. Uh, B old is known to us that is 1. So, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 here. So, this is how we, we have calculated the new weights in this case. Now, what we need to do is uh, the same process has to be followed for these two uh, cases also. And then we need to come up with uh, the final uh, weights. I have shown those particular things in this case. 
till here we have calculated now we need to calculate uh, uh, the delta w1 delta w2 and delta b for this particular input that is what we have done here delta w1 delta w2 delta w delta b associated weights are also calculated here and then uh, i have presented this particular input and then i have calculated delta w1 delta w2 and delta b with a similar process what we have followed in the previous slide and then we got this particular new weights over here new weights are calculated by adding the previous weights to this particular delta w1 you can see here this is one here that is the previous weight plus uh, delta w1 that is 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 here again 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 2 here minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 2 over here now once you get this particular final weights these are the final weights for this particular uh, given training data with the help of uh, hebb rule so it looks something like this the x1 is the input x2 is the another input the weight associated with them is uh, 2 and 2 that is this one and this one this is the first one this is the second one and this is the bias bias weight is equal to minus 2 in this case so this is how uh, the uh, hebb network looks like for the logical and function so in this video i have explained how to use hebb rule to design hebb network to implement the logical and function i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends subscribe for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching